Hello, the pros, and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy, Albedril. In this video, we're going to test if a Windows 7 license still works to activate a Windows 10 version in 2021, okay? So Windows 11 is a few days away, so we're going to test that. So for that end, I have this HP Prodesk 600U1. I have done, can be any other brand, by the way, but HP is the one I have. So this computer came out in 2014 origin, originally with Windows 7 Pro. So I have done some videos in the past about this machine. I have turned it into a budget gaming computer. I have replaced the processor and I have upgraded the BIOS version. So if you're, if you're interested in that, the links are going to be in the video description below. So as you can see, I have installed Windows 10 on this machine. And if you want to install Windows 10, I have a video for that, of course, and you can click it on the top right of this screen. So the first thing you notice when you have Windows 10 that is not um, activated or it doesn't have a license is in the bottom right. It says activate Windows, go to settings to do it. OK, so this message is never go going to go away. It's always, always going to be there. OK, it doesn't matter what you open, as you can see there. So now uh, and it's kind of annoying. So we go to this PC, right click on it properties and you can see all the characteristics of this computer you can see the device name i join it to my home uh, lab domain so I, la I like to do some testing some labs and if you go down it says windows specification edition windows 10 pro so uh, depending on what license that, that you may have on this old computer if you have windows for example if you have windows 7 home you have to install windows 10 home if you have windows 7 pro like in this case you have to install windows 10 pro or it has to be the same version, otherwise it's not going to work. It might give you an error and you may think that it doesn't, <laughs> it's not working, correct? So just uh, keep that in mind. It might also be Windows 8, but the only license I have so far is Windows 7. So we're going to test that out. So, uh, so once you have the right version, you install the right version, you close this and we're going to go to preferences. So one of the things you cannot do is change the background when Windows 10 is not, it doesn't have a valid license. So it's not a, such a big deal, but uh, if you have a not license, let's use it. So we go to settings, we go to activate Windows and we click see if Windows is activated. So we click, click on that and we can see the message. Windows um, reported that no product key has been found on this device. So that's an error. Okay, so now we're going to go and going to inspect the physical desktop computer. As you can see, this is the desktop computer, can be a laptop as well. This is the HP Prodesk 600U1. It's kind of big, so let me show you Prodesk Hewlett Packard. So the label in these kind of models, this one from 2014, is somewhere on the case. So you have to look for it. In this model, it's on the back. So it looks like this. And you can check the model in the top, the serial number, the product number. And here's the label, the Windows label for the license. Windows 7 Pro. And the product uh, HP, product key, and all that. So you have to take a picture of the key because we're going to type it in a few more seconds. And that's pretty much it. Once you have to find the key, take a picture, write it down or something. So, so just for you to remember. So now let's go back to Windows. So as you can see, once you have the key, you go here to change product key. So now you're going to type it. I'm going to leave the four, the first four digits as, as we have seen in the label. And after that, you type the rest, of course. So the video is sped up in this part, so you don't have to wait all the real time that it took me to type uh, the digits. So you go next. It's going to take a few seconds. And then it's going to say activate Windows. By clicking Windows, you can get the best experience. So you go to activate. This is going to be a little longer, but still, I don't know, 15 seconds, something like that. And right away, it's going to say Windows is activated. So you close it and you can see over here that it has disappeared, that annoying message. And you go uh, to the top and it says activation, Windows, uh, Windows is activated with a digital license so that's how you do it like i mentioned if you have an old computer whether in uh, where you work right now and it's going to be the commission because it's old check it out maybe it has a license over there maybe you can use it because they are going to throw it away anyway and it's useless okay so maybe you want to watch one of these videos now thank you very much for watching if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe if you have any other comment or questions leave it in the comment section below and as always as you know i'll see you in the next video